Hello and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to be discussing the different types of memory, including short-term, long-term, and working memory. Memory is an essential part of how we function and learn. It allows us to store and retrieve information, and to use that information to guide our actions and decisions. But not all types of memory are the same. In this video, we'll be exploring the different types of memory and how they work, including short-term memory, long-term memory, and working memory. We'll be discussing the characteristics of each type of memory, as well as the strengths and limitations of each. We'll also be exploring the ways in which different types of memory interact with one another and how they contribute to our overall memory function. Short-term memory, also known as primary or active memory, is the type of memory that allows us to store and process information for a short period of time. Short-term memory has a limited capacity, and can only hold a small amount of information at a time. It is thought to hold around 7 plus or minus 2 pieces of information for approximately 20 to 30 seconds, although this can vary depending on the complexity of the information. Short-term memory is thought to rely on the neurotransmitter acetylcholine and the prefrontal cortex of the brain. One way to think of short-term memory is as a holding area for information that we are currently using or processing. It allows us to temporarily store information while we are thinking about it, making it possible for us to perform tasks such as carrying out a set of instructions or solving a math problem. Short-term memory is important for a wide range of cognitive functions, including language processing, problem solving, and decision making. Long-term memory is the type of memory that allows us to store information over a longer period of time. It has a much larger capacity than short-term memory and can hold an almost unlimited amount of information. Long-term memory is thought to rely on the neurotransmitter glutamate and the hippocampus, a region of the brain involved in spatial navigation and memory consolidation. There are two main types of long-term memory, declarative and procedural. Declarative memory is the type of memory that allows us to store and retrieve factual information, such as names, dates, and definitions. It is further divided into semantic memory, which is the memory of general knowledge and concepts, and episodic memory, which is the memory of personal experiences and events. Procedural memory is the type of memory that allows us to store and retrieve information on how to perform certain tasks or skills. It is responsible for our ability to perform habits and routines, such as tying shoelaces or riding a bike. Long-term memory is important for a wide range of cognitive functions, including learning and adapting to new situations, and for maintaining a sense of personal identity and history. Working memory is the type of memory that allows us to store and process information for immediate use. It is a hybrid of short-term and long-term memory and is thought to play a central role in a wide range of cognitive functions, including learning, problem-solving, and decision-making. Working memory has a limited capacity, similar to short-term memory, but it is thought to be more flexible and adaptable. It allows us to manipulate and rearrange information, and to use that information to guide our actions and decisions. Working memory is thought to rely on the prefrontal cortex and the basal ganglia, regions of the brain involved in attention and executive function. One way to think of working memory is as a scratch pad for information that we are currently using or processing. It allows us to hold information in mind while we are thinking about it, and to use that information to guide our actions and decisions. In summary, there are three main types of memory, short-term memory, long-term memory, and working memory. Each type of memory has its own characteristics, strengths, and limitations, and they work together to support our overall memory function. Short-term memory is the type of memory that allows us to store and process information for a short period of time. It has a limited capacity and is important for a wide range of cognitive functions. Long-term memory is the type of memory that allows us to store information over a longer period of time. It has a much larger capacity and is divided into declarative and procedural memory. Working memory is the type of memory that allows us to store and process information for immediate use. It has a limited capacity but is more flexible and adaptable, and is thought to play a central role in a wide range of cognitive functions. Thank you for watching our video on the different types of memory, including short-term, long-term, and working memory. We hope you found it informative and that it has helped you to understand the complex and fascinating world of memory. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. We would love to hear from you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more information and tips on learning, memory, and cognition, also make sure to subscribe to our main channel, link in the description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.